Meanwhile, Executive Director of the Africa Center for Energy Policy, Benjamin Boache, has questioned the viability of Ghana's procurement processes, indicating it is characterized by fraud. According to him, this has led to the misappropriation of funds and consequently affected the country's economic growth and development. The biggest crime of our country is our procurement system, where consistently it has been reviewed and we know that corruption is so massive in our procurement system and we have tracked it. It will be difficult for you to find any government contract above one million dollars go through competitive tender in this country. It is so sourced. And not just because you go on the shelf and you can see one million and government also went for it for one million, which you wouldn't have problem with. You will see one million thing on the shelf and the government will go for it for 10 million and it will still be so sourced. Go through the numbers. We all have to be interested. The chairs that government procure, how much do they buy them? We all go to the market. The basic things that government procure, ten, five times more than what you can buy on the shelf. But we watch them happen, and then they crystallize into debt, and they have the power of the state to pass laws to tax you more, and we are watching. So we can no longer be that kind of citizens hoping to adjust in difficult times, but we need to get the government to do the heavy lifting.